welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about pneumatical trail, mechanical trail and how aligning moment all these three terms correlate to each other. So as we know whenever we are moving there is a tire like this and it's turning in the left direction like this. So there will be a difference between the angle of direction of heading and direction of travel which essentially means the entirety of the travel will be facing in one direction. However, the contact patch will be facing in some a little bit offset angle and this offset angle is called as slip angle. So essentially whenever there is this contact patch like lateral forces are generated. So whenever the forces are generated, forces are not generated like in a single point. Rather the single point is assumed as in case assumed as a resultant of forces acting throughout the contact patch. So this is what is going on over here, there is this contact patch and there are multiple forces acting throughout the contact patch and the pattern of forces acting on a contact patch is like it keeps on increasing and it's the highest beyond the center point, beyond the point of intersection of the center line of the tire and the axle. So if this is the center of the tire, we have the highest forces acting little bit backside of the center of the tire right and the resultant of the force therefore the resultant of all these forces can be assumed to be somewhere over here and acting in like one direction so the distance between that center point and the resultant force is given as or is called as pneumatic trail which is essentially depending which essentially depends on the properties of the tire uh, and which defines how good the grip of the tire will be and gives us a feel whenever we are turning our vehicle gives us a feel of how if we are losing the grip or we are not losing the grip and so and another concept is mechanical trail so we have caster angle and we have positive trail of caster angle so assuming this is the wheel and we are moving in that direction the kingpin uh, will be aligning uh, king, kingpin or the knuckle will be aligned in this direction in general so this angle will be considered negative and the point of intersection of this line on the road this distance if you consider it as x this will be positive and this will be called as mechanical trail like if we look from top view for this tire the contact point for this kingpin will be this one and there will be a perpendicular distance from this contact point assumed contact point to the center of the tire and this distance is known as mechanical trail so what happens when we have the positive uh, caster or positive distance of the kingpin from the center point of the tire it helps in aligning the tire or giving the tire the direction where to go increasing vehicle stability greater the angle it will be more difficult to turn the st uh, steering wheel in that particular direction but also it will be helpful in uh, steering returnability or aligning moment so I always used to get confused about the term aligning moment so what is aligning moment? aligning moment means the tendency or the torque acting on the tire which tends to align the entirety of the tire with the contact patch because as we know there is a difference in the angle between the tire and the contact patch so these two the mechanical trail and the pneumatic trail these two combinedly work uh, to give us an aligning moment to align the tire with the contact patch uh, if we have only mechanical trail and no pneumatic trail which is kind of impossible but with pneumatic trail we kind of get multiple warnings throughout if we are losing our grip and therefore mechanical pneumatic trail is very important uh, essentially we do not want only mechanical trail or only pneumatic trail we can have only pneumatic trail but we cannot have only mechanical trail so this is multiple things this is how we have to optimize our calculations when we are doing our uh, design for the steering and suspension systems i hope you understood this topic if there are any questions please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you all in the next video